each challenge. Reborn with a vengeance. Bigger. Badder. Better. The franchise has gotten a little stale and we've uh, been waiting to be able to integrate this new technology, so this is the perfect timing. We have a brand new name, which is WWE 12, so longer called SmackDown vs. Raw. We have a brand new technology, which is called Predator Technology. And so this just gave us a perfect opportunity to bring it all together for a full rebrand, reboot of the franchise. We've been actually working on the technology for a couple years. Um, and we've been waiting for the time to finally integrate it in there and it's very difficult with an annual franchise to be able to integrate significant technology. So it's taken a couple years in the background working on it and this year was the perfect year to go ahead and do that as well as rebrand the whole franchise. We have a brand new finisher gauge this year so what it's done is it's allow you just to fill up your gauge without losing progress. Um, before in the past you would lose your progress because of momentum and it didn't make this it a very competitive it. experience. This year we've changed that system so now as you're building up towards your finisher you don't lose progress and when you finally get it you go ahead and unleash your signature move as well as your finisher move. And then on top of that we added a cool comeback ability where basically if you're getting uh, beat up in the match pretty good, you've gotten to critical damage, you can go ahead and trigger your comeback ability and make this really dramatic comeback. You do this combo sequence of the superstar's actual moves and you can make this really you know, cool rally to go ahead and get back to the match. We put a big emphasis on the learning curve. We wanted to make sure it was uh, much more easier to pick up, more intuitive. So we've actually changed our control scheme this year completely. Uh, we've now put the grapple button on the A button. So it's for the 360. For it's the first button you press, you can go ahead and start executing moves. Before it was on the uh, analog stick and it was a little confusing for new users to come up and, and to try the game. So this year it's much more intuitive, easier to pick up. And then also the response time has been drastically improved. So there's no more way Waiting around on the mats, a lot of frustration that was occurring. We give you a lot more control, which just means uh, a lot more satisfaction um, and you know a lot more response time, which I think uh, new users will definitely enjoy. There's been a lot of changes graphically to the game. Uh, we have a lot of new capabilities such as rope physics and ring physics. So now when you do these really big, high-impact moves, the whole environment's alive. The ring's bouncing, the ropes are shaking, the camera's shaking. It just feels like a very versatile, dynamic experience. It kind of mimics what you see on television. We've also added this brand new uh, dynamic broadcast camera system. So we've actually mimicked every camera angle that you see on WWE television and recreated that in the game. So as you're doing these really cool high spots, the camera system's intelligent and will go right to the right angle that gets that cool image that you see on WWE television and it recreates that in the game. Um, so those are a couple of new additions. Uh, the Superstar models look much, much better. We have higher res textures on them now, so they look even closer to their real-life counterparts. Um, we have cool capabilities like depth of field and atmospheric effects like fog in the arena, so it looks like the pyros just went off. A lot of really cool capabilities this year with the new renderer. We have our full creation suite there with actually some surprises for new modes that we're going to announce a little bit later. Uh, we'll have a full story mode just like last year, brand new content, brand new characters. Um, so the game is huge. It's really the best bang for your dollar. Um, there's a full creation suite, there's story modes, there's hours and hours of content that you can be able to play. And uh, because we introduced this new technology, we haven't lost any of that. That's all that great content still in there. We've actually built upon it. And our slogan this year is bigger, badder, better. And really bigger just means we have the biggest game possible. Um, and so we're you know, really happy to be able to deliver that to the fans and let them know that we didn't cut any content this year.